Free in Namdi Kanu, protest begins in London, protesters wave Biafra flags. Nigerians living in London, United Kingdom, have begun a protest to demand the release of Namdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, who was arrested by the Nigerian government in Kenya last Sunday and extradited to Nigeria. Now it's Kenya. They have been different countries, so I'm... I'm not sure this is confirmed yet, but let's continue. Some of the protesters waved the Biafran flag in a video obtained by Sahara reporters as they chanted free Inamdi Kanu now, free Inamdi Kanu now. Okay, Kanu is a British citizen and a Nigerian citizen, and it is believed that he has been staying in the UK, the Attorney General of the Federation, and the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, had first on Tuesday announced the arrest of Kanu while listing his offences and insisting that he must continue his court trial in earnest. Malami, in the text of his press conference in Abuja on Tuesday, had noted that the IPOB leader, apart from jumping bail, which he didn't, has been accused of engaging in subversive activities that include inciting violence through television, radio and online broadcast against Nigeria and Nigerian state and institutions. He has begun or he has been brought back to Nigeria in order to continue facing trial after disappearing while on bail regarding an 11 count charge against him. It is recalled that Khan was arrested on the 14th of October 2015 on 11 counts bordering terrorism treasonable felony, managing an unlawful society, publication of a defamatory matter, illegal possession of firearms, and improper importation of goods, among others. A judge at the Federal High Court Abuja revoked Kanu's bail that was granted to him on health grounds and issued a bench warrant for his arrest on the same date. Over his failure to appear in court, for hearing he has upon jumping bail been accused of engaging in subversive activities that include inciting violence through television radio and online broadcast against nigeria and nigerian states and institutions khan was also accused of instigating violence in well especially in southeastern nigeria that resulted in the loss of lives and property of civilians military, paramilitary, police forces, and destruction of civil institutions and symbols of authorities, Malami said. Sahara reported, reporters had reported that Kanu was blindfolded and sneaked into the courtroom by operatives of the, of the DSS in handcuffs while his legs were also chained. All right, take us back to colonization and slavery. He was hurriedly taken to court too where the presiding judge told the lawyer Shwaib Labaran to inform the defense counsel of the new date for the continuation of the trial. Journalists were prevented from filming Kanu as he was shielded and taken through the back door. The prosecution applied that Kanu jumped bail and wanted him to be remanded by the DSS or remanded at the DSS custody. The court granted the application Justice Morita Lanyako had or has adjourned the matter to the 26th of July 2021. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, honestly, that's just it. It should be that the protest will start in London because he's a citizen, of course. And, of course, actually, the World Equal Congress pressured, well, not pressured, but, you know, sort of communicated to the British that they should defend him because, you know, he is their citizen, so that is what it is. But I, I, I doubt that, you know, it would end here. I, I doubt that even in Nigeria, a lot of people will also, you know, not protest. Like, no, come on, they, they're going to have to. Um, But then again, in London, again, I think that's where a lot of Biafras that are there or anything, it's just a be a good place to sort of get your voice heard, you know. A lot of protests do go, go up in London, but, you know, this, it, it will start like this. And I think his arrest, in a way, can be something that, you know, would, would push a lot of Nigerians to basically, you know, 
fight for Biafra. I mean, it literally empowers them, yes, on one hand. But on the other hand, I think for some Nigerians that may not necessarily have a solid standing on where they are and are just sort of, you know, supporting what is, quote, right. Um, maybe to some, this would be like a shunning tactic where they're like, oh, American has been arrested, so I better humble myself to understand that you know what, you know what, things can absolutely go wrong. And yes, in a way, maybe that's what the government wanted, and to a large extent, it, it may work as well. We're never really sure. Uh, well, the, right now, at the moment, the thing that is hot right now is that Sunday Buho has also been attacked, his residence has been attacked, and allegedly, I am not sure, apparently. His wife may have been whisked away with other people that were shot dead. It's very sad, very gory. Go on Twitter, it is trending. Um, and yeah, this is now, this is literally what is going on in the country. If you if you fight for your rights, you apparently have no right to self-determination. They officially, they've banned Twitter. They can do this. Listen, the government, they've been looking at us for a long time. They know what they're doing. This idea that they're just, you know, people who do not know their left from their right and are just in government and business funds. Yes, they're in business funds, but they absolutely know what they're doing. Um, I think that they've proven to Nigerians they have the resources to fix whatever issue need that needs to be fixed, especially that of insecurity, because they can pull forces together to get to Kanu. They can do the same to fix banditry and all that. So yeah, that's that's that that's sad. That is sad. That is sad. Uh someone here says they are yours there, Kanu is in our hand, lamenting and regretting, and in the end he will reap what he sow. Um well what would you reap what he sow? I mean listen for the Biafran youths, I guess he's I mean obviously he's a very, very much respected leader, you know, for you know IPOB and yes and yeah, of course respected. Um but again, what else do you want him to do? I think when in when it comes to training his people and doing all that, he's done he I think he's done his job. We're gonna fight for, of course that he gets out because that's absolutely not fair. When you have Isa Pantami in government, I mean come on now. That is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, so yeah, it is sheer stupidity to imprison fighters and romance with terrorists. Stop chasing the shadows. Who I think, and don't forget to like and subscribe.